Have faith, live again. When it starts right now. Welcome to Have Faith. Let it begin. Here's your host, Angel Santana. Ariel, can you say, have faith? Let it begin. Let it begin? Let it begin. Say, have faith. Let it begin. No, no. No? No? Okay. It's a boy. Hi, Noah. Noah! Hi, Noah. Oh, Jesus. Happy birthday, Noah. Caitlin. You did amazing. Noah. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it. Shy. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it. Shy. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it. Shy. Let it. Say. Let it. Say. Let it. Say. Yeah. Dang, I'm so excited. But I have one question. What's your question? Are you going to be a pastor or a minister? Good question. I don't know, but it is all in God's hands. Good morning. You're listening to Half Faith Lab again. And it starts right now. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Half Faith Let It Begin. It is a Wednesday. It's September 4th, and for those of you in the Northeast, uh, 24 hours away from the first day of school. So we're wishing all the children out there, uh, especially those that have already started college, and some of them that have already started school, uh, a healthy and uh, safe uh, school season, especially for the teachers, faculty, and staff. Of course, I mean you as well. So here we are, and uh, trying to figure out on the way into work today is, you know, what kind of a topic was I going to talk about? And, you know, honestly, I, I been looking at some stuff on social media, which I try to try not to do often because there's so much negativity out there. But one of the things that I, that struck me, um, that made me want to just start this episode was, um, how often I, I see, uh, gossip, uh, manipulation, and uh, just games that are being played amongst other people. Uh, and the rudeness and the unkindness that is out there. And I said, wow, I'm so grateful that I have a platform that I do not, I do not uh, try to advertise or publicize or even, even begin to start to uh, go down that path, you know? Like I've said before, ours is all motivational, inspirational. We're trying to set out and change the world. And we do it by one random act of kindness at a time. But it got me thinking, you know, how often we get sucked in on these things. You know, I I'm, I will be honest. You know, sometimes I'll be looking on to local headlines and then you get down the rabbit hole of YouTube. And sometimes social media will... will or Facebook even will take you into this land of things that are recorded and uh, that shouldn't be recorded. And for entertainment purposes, I guess we can call it entertainment because it does entertain you uh, enough that you start to watch more and more and more. So one of my biggest things that I'm trying to do is stay stray away from that because what I've noticed is the things that are on there, it's not that they entertain me. It's the fact that I'm watching things and I say, how can this be on you know, the internet? How can this be on social media? How is it okay to record a fight of one kid beating up another? How is it okay to show a child being disrespectful to a parent? How is it okay for a, a male uh, you know, uh, or a female to uh, hit one another and be okay? But yet, very rare and not often enough we don't see the good things the people that are doing good the people that are doing what's right to change this world we are so concentrated and fixated on showing all the negative things all the people that are doing things that you would just say wow I can't believe they did that I've always said when I was a kid I always wanted to do the good news you know, imagine being able to turn on the TV and having that choice. Do I want to watch the regular news or the good news? And every single article, every single thing on the good news would be about positivity. 
will be about all the good that we're doing in this world. All the good that is happening that doesn't even get shown, doesn't even get brought to light. Sometimes we only see the good when it's good for that person because that person just wants to be known for doing something well, requires the pat on the back, requires the the feedback to make that person's ego or that person's uh, popularity go up. No, no, that's not good news. Good news is something like a person who decided to clean a neighbor's yard because they don't have family. Good news is something like a person who delivers a backpack to a child in need. Good news would be something like my mom does. She does this amazing um, program that is literally called the gift from the heart. And she donates games, clothing, Christmas trees, Christmas decorations, Christmas gifts year round to people that are in need. And she tries to be anonymous about it. I mean, obviously I'm saying it because she hasn't done it any in a few a while because she's getting older. And uh, hopefully one day we can take over that and uh, and be able to do the good. So where is this episode even going, right? It feels like a rant. I guess you can say that. I guess you can say that we here at Half Faith Letter Begin need to re-promote the positivity that actually does occur in this world. The good news, the good things that happen in this world. And we can do that by doing one random act of kindness. We can do that by doing a prayer right now. Let's pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil, for yours is the kingdom, power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Heavenly Father, we ask you at this time to pray for our half-faith Let It Begin family, to all the children in the world that are going out and starting school. We continue to lift up in prayer the college students for faculty and staff, for the bus drivers and parents that are driving their kids to and from school. We ask you, Lord, to pray for parents, for children, for nieces and nephews, aunts and uncles, brothers and sisters. We pray for our cousins. We pray for our grandparents and our parents. We pray for government officials to please stop the name calling. Just just do your job and try to find a way to get along. And maybe that would make things a lot easier and better for the world. Remember, there is no I in team. We continue to lift up in prayer our Half Faith Let It Begin family. Our list is so long that we could be here for an hour. (laughs) But I know that you know who I'm praying for. All of you. And I thank you for listening to our show. We lift up in prayer and we praise our Heavenly Father for the good days and the bad days. We ask you, Lord, to be with us today and every day, to guide us, to comfort us, to give give us the wisdom that we need, to allow us the opportunity to feel comfortable in our gifts and our talents so we can utilize them to help change the world. May God be with you. May he shine his light upon you and grant each and every single one of you peace on earth. And never forget, have faith, Let it begin. See you tomorrow. Thank you for listening to another episode of Half Faith, Let It Begin. That's right, Ariel. We're done with another show. And it's always great to have this show with you, man, love. You know, we're going to encourage each and every person to listen to our show every single weekday. That's right. You and I are going to help change the world. Do you think that you can do that for me? Huh? Yeah, you know you can. She does. We want to let you know, and yes, we encourage you to listen to our show each and every weekday, and it's going to be live at 7.30. 
Make sure you're subscribed to our show. Make sure you get ready. Fasten those seatbelts because Ariel and I and my family are going to bring you a new topic, a new story each and every day, right? Isn't that right, Ariel? Yeah. And we impre- <laughs> she's smiling at me. Guys, enjoy your day. Thank you for listening to How Faith for a Begin. We'll be back tomorrow. Thank you.